Hello my beautiful Cancerian friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Hope everyone's doing well. I do have a holiday offer pinned in the comments section for those who would like to have a reading. I do personal readings. Feeling the world, Cancer. You are really in your feels right now. This is okay. We also have Waking the Lion. Ooh, what is waking inside of you? You have a lot of strength, Cancer. A lot of strength, really feeling an inner awakening here, being very strong, being very proud, very fiery, very strong fire energy. And we have a powerful move. Oh, nice, okay. So let's take a look and see what's going on in your love life. For Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I love to know where everybody's from. I would love a comment if you would like to tell me where you're viewing this video from. It'd be great. Let's see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck for you. Let's see. We have the Lover's Card, Cancer, Gemini Energy. Somebody is watching you, and you seem to be quite unaware of it. Somebody is watching, and it looks like somebody who is somebody who you know. This is clearly somebody you know, somebody who you might have had a disagreement with or, a, you know, some sort of competitive feeling. Okay, in the recent past, the energy between you and your person was a strength card. Leo energy, the ability, the courage, the dignity, the fortitude to go through a period of time in which, you know, you could have had challenges to the relationship. The current mutual energy between the two of you is nine of pentacles. You're both single. You're both very uh, successful. You're both um, very conscientious people. The Nine of Pentacles is single, ready to mingle, really ready for love to come in. You're looking for that other pentacle. How your person views the situation with you is the Two of Pentacles. They're not really sure what you're up to. Um, they feel as though a choice needs to be made. That is the feeling that they have to uh, drop one of those coins and move forward with you. The lover's card is all about making a choice. It's a really, it's a gorgeous energy. That's a soulmate card of the major arcana. How they view you, Ace of Cups, Cancer, look at you. In your reading, they see you as their cup of love, as a person for them. Your person sees you very much in the energy of love and giving and a new beginning in love. How do they feel in their heart space about you? High Priestess, another Cancerian energy. This person has been keeping their feelings about you secret. They do, when they think of you, they think of love. They feel in their heart space is love. But I don't think they've ever shared that with you. How they see the situation going forward. Judgment card, a decision is going to be made. Scorpio energy. We have the energy of Virgo and the Two of Pentacles is Capricorn. Your person wants to release something so that they can come to you. This is just fantastic energy. We will clarify, of course. The King of Pentacles. You may have met this person at work. The King of Pentacles is a card that speaks to the fact that your mutual energy that's hidden is that you both want to nurture this relationship. The King of Pentacles is the daddy card, the father card, the husband card. It is the energy of someone who's very reliable, someone who has worked to bring abundance into a situation. Both of you are bringing this energy in. Both of you are very successful people, very capable of taking care of yourselves. Spirit's recommendation or advice for you at this time, Seven of Cups. It looks like you're both fantasizing about each other. The Seven of Cups is Pisces energy. You may be dealing with a Pisces. This is Taurus energy. But there's a powerful energy of desiring success with each other. Really wanting to reawaken this lover's card and the Ace of Cups in your lives. The short-term outcome at this time is, wow, <laughs> the Empress card. The Empress card is Taurus energy, two Taurus cards. Both of you value each other. Both of you see one another as, 
you know, that beautiful relationship that you're craving, that you want. It looks like you're coming together in love. This is a, the card of manifestation is right here. I mean, Taurus energy is what you actually possess already. This is major, major, the lover's card, the judgment card, and the empress card, as well as the strength card, the high priestess. This is really shocking. I mean, it's good shocking. One, two, three, four, five major arcana out of nine cards. That is unbelievable. And then with the ace of cups, it's, a, it's an incredible energy of a new beginning in love that's going to be very harmonious, very happy. It's just going to be glorious. The Empress card is the embodiment of love itself, everything that's beautiful in your life. So let's look and see what we have for the energy that is clarifying this deck. Let's see what we have here for our beautiful Cancerians. Why do we have the energy of the lover's card here for you why do we have the energy of the lover's card thanks so much there we go we have four of swords so there was a period of time both of you are healing from some sort of conflict or some sort of situation in which you felt very wounded the four of swords is healing energy we also get here the chariot card cancerian energy Somebody really coming towards you, Cancer. Honey, I'm home. That is very much Emperor energy. The Emperor drives the chariot. We have the Strength card is clarifying the Strength card. Both of you want this. It's amplified. That energy is after a period of introspection that you've had in this relationship. And this is the energy of really taking a chance on love, opening your feelings up again. And you have all of the strength, the beauty, the loyalty, and the courage to make this happen. The Justice card is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. It says both of you want balance. You want to have a good, fair relationship. The Justice card also is an indicator that you might be interested in marriage. That is, you know, the energy of the, the marriage license, quite literally, having a seventh house relationship, Libra energy. We have Sagittarius energy here, taking that chance, taking that leap of faith. Um, in a very mature way. The Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is indicating to me that your person may have some heartbreak from a situation that didn't work out very well. That Three of Swords energy says that, you know, that it looks as though there was a third party situation that they've been juggling. So tell us more about that because your person wants a new beginning with you. The, ah, oh, okay, the Eight of Cups energy. So what we're seeing here is that this energy looks as though your person has been heartbroken. They want a new beginning with you because it looks like there's a certain situation that ended in a very positive way for you, a negative way for them. Reclamation, wow, okay. So what they want to do is they want to come back in with you. I feel like this is a period of time in which you are reconciling with someone from the past, but it won't be for everyone. It will read differently for everyone. It is a general reading. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours. So they want to come in. They feel very obsessed. Reclamation is, I want to reclaim my cancer. I want this new period of time. They see you as an absolute rock star. They see you as someone who's reliable and beauty, who has... You shine brightly outward into the world. It's the energy of healing and hopes and dreams for love coming true with you. We also have the moon card. Your person is in this Pisces energy. They're not really sure. I don't think that, I think that there was a situation in which they might have walked away from you in the past. Now they want to walk back into your life is what I'm seeing here. The way this is reading, they just don't know if you're going to really accept them. So we have also the Four of Wands. They want a very significant relationship. Twin Flame Energy, the Four of Wands is 
they want that stability with you that is again a marriage energy when we look at the justice card the energy that they have for you is that it's almost like they're seeing you as the one after not seeing you as the person that they would most be happy with the universe look at this card the world card that is going to the next level with you in a new start to your love relationship. The Universe card is all about the Ace of Wands, having a passionate new beginning. The World card is really leveling up in relationship, and so they want to go there with you. The Two of Wands, they know that you're going to make, need to make a decision. And the Three of Wands, they've chosen you as their person. They really see you as the one. The High Priestess is showing me that they have been silent for a period of time. They're watching you from a distance or keeping a close eye on you. They think about you a lot. The Sun card, oh, in their heart space, they feel as though you're the person that they, with whom they had the most happiness. The Sun card's Leo energy. They might be a very fiery, proud energy, somebody who likes to have a lot of... Um, likes to really be bold in the world they see the here's here's a fool card the potential card they want a brand new beginning with you so we get the energy here of the three of cups also they feel as though you're their best friend they feel as though you've always been a person of significance so this looks like you're coming together. Wow, this is great reading, Cancer. One of the best we've seen for you. The Nine of Cups, you they have made the decision that you are their happy space. And with the, the Sun card, that's the happiest card in the deck. So your person's really coming into this epiphany. Look at that. Again, Major Arcana, the Sun, the happiest card in the deck. Wish fulfillment, joyfulness, eat, drink, be merry. That's really loving you and wanting that great happiness the ability to just have a great time with each other they want that new beginning with you and they again they feel like you are their best friend really great reading cancer really great let's see what we have here for this king of pentacles energy both of you want to be reliable and create a foundation and a stability we get the six of cups energy here for you the Six of Cups is all about being together at night. It's um, it's a reunion card. It's, you know, after a period of, it looks like separation of difficulty for the two of you with your person. We're getting that they want to reconcile. They want to reconcile the relationship. Nine of Wands, you both have fire in your belly to make this work. Sagittarius energy. And the Seven of Wands. You're both going to be very careful as you approach the relationship. You're both going to be a little bit guarded. But we have the beautiful energy of the Awakening Judgment card. Judgment card. Your person is truly being awakened to the fact that their happiness is with you. That they want to choose you. Spirit is saying be careful. Your person might not be as reliable as you want them to be. They're a bit of a dreamer. It's Scorpio energy, but Ten of Cups. Oh my God, that's a great energy. So basically what Spirit is saying is let this person step in and let them tell you how they feel. Ten of Cups is a happily ever after marriage with that Four of Wands. We get a Twin Flame energy and a Twin Flame vibe with your person. We get the energy with the Five of Swords. It looks as though, you know, there was some sort of situation in, in which this person really was not really great with you up here. You know, they did put you in an awkward situation. They weren't really fair with you. And we get the Two of Cups reversed. Okay. So Spirit is saying, so your person is now in this energy of really wanting. They're choosing you actively. The Two of Cups reversed means that they're not juggling. I like the Two of Cups in the upright more. Um, but let's see why it's in the reverse. Why is that card in the reverse? Seven of Cups reversed. Excellent. Okay. So it looks as though Spirit was telling you not to make a decision right away. That this person has been confused. The confusion now vanishes because the Seven of Cups is reversed. The Two of Cups. It looks as though your person went off to try to explore something else only to find that it was really a huge mistake 
and that they didn't treat you well and now the ten of cups they do want to come in it looks like your person's going to apologize to you in a very sincere fashion very much the energy of uh, telling you how they feel moving ahead very rapidly you know they definitely want to you know make love they want to travel they want to have fun but they're coming in with their all their energy just focused on you the six of swords after a feeling and a period of time of healing and, you know, we have four of swords, six of swords moving forward. You may even move, one of you may move, both of you may move together. But we're getting this uh, moving towards each other and manifesting this relationship. Having great clarity, the ace of swords energy, the clarity to do it. And to really forgive whatever happened in the past, whatever feelings of, you know boredom whatever it was that was going on we see that your person's energy is that they really want to hold on to you the four of pentacles so we see this energy of your person really coming back in and we get the nymph of wands <laughs> so that is the energy of a very hot sexual relationship but we see the warrior of wands which is the king of wands that is such powerful energy for you and the spirit of pentacles your person has is coming in with an offer they don't really know what you're going to say but it's uh it's really them getting grounded being very real with you letting you know what happened the awakening you know they're going to really talk about how, what what went on with them what was happening with them and they will be explaining to you what's going on when we get the feeling you know feeling the world you're really feeling very much on top of the world and i love the waking the lion energy that's you being very fiery very positive and the powerful move into the future for the two of you by choosing one another is here cancer so sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from and also i would i'm open to you know really trying out some new readings some new questions so let me know what you think in the comments below i really appreciate this cancer take care Bye bye